Hi, I'm Janie. Welcome to Mimi Craft, your home for all things DIY and creative on a budget. I make all the mistakes so you don't have to. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I'd love to have you in the family. Now on to the first project. Today's projects will be made with Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower Blocks, this game here, and Dollar Tree's Super Glue Wood Glue. Project number one is a lantern. You'll need 60 blocks the same size, so you'll probably need at least two boxes of the tower blocks. Glue together 24 L shapes on their skinny side. Glue these L shapes together to make 12 rectangles. Ironically, use your square to make sure they're square. You will have six sets of two rectangles, so for every two, put two single blocks in between as seen on screen, so you will have six sets of three. I like to use wood filler to fill in all the seams of my projects, but I also like it to be thinned out a little bit. So I take an empty glue bottle, school glue style bottle, I put wood filler in it, and then spray some water in. I shake it up really well, and then I'm good to go. It gives me a nice little applicator bottle, makes the whole process easier. What I like to do is to apply all the wood fill filler, feeler, filler and I use my finger to push it down into the little crevice and then I use a wet wipe or a wet t-shirt rag to wipe off the excess. You don't have to sand if you don't want to. Um, I'll leave that up to you. I often sand if the blocks are not in terrific condition. Next, cut six wood skewers, six inches long. They also make dowel that's approximately this size. You can buy that at Walmart. These are actually dog clippers for dog nails that I got at um, Dollar Tree. They work really, really well for this. You can do it with scissors too, but it's much more difficult. Glue the skewer to the far right side of each one of the six sides. You want the glue to be all the way to the edge, and then we're gonna place the skewer so that it's hanging off just a little bit. You'll see why in just a minute. Sometimes the skewers aren't real straight and you'll have to add a little bit of glue after the fact. That's what I'm doing here. Next, make a template of a hexagon for us to glue this whole baby together. Take a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle. That's just for reference so the first two sides can line up top and bottom. As you see, I'm creating the hexagon with blocks that are the same size as the blocks we just used. Mark the points. And 
to dry your hexagon. Cutting it out was completely unnecessary. Now you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Put glue on the outer edge of each of these skewers in order to glue each side together. You can also place glue on the left edge of each side and then glue it to the skewer that way. This is how it should look from the outside. This is the glue placement for the last side. Note that I waited for everything to dry, the first five sides to dry, before I placed this on its side to put the last side on. This is the finished lantern. And here it is lit at night. I would not use an open flame with this. These are battery operated candles. Project number two is another lantern. It will require 104 blocks that are all the same size, so you'll need probably about three boxes of blocks to achieve that. Glue 12 blocks together in this pattern. You'll be making two of these. This is going to be the base and the lid. Apply wood filler to the seams and wipe off the excess with a damp towel or rag. The blocks on the left have been filled, the blocks on the right have not. Sand if desired. Glue together 40 L shapes, again, on their long side. Create 20 rectangles with the L's. Glue the sides together as seen. I'm going to take five rectangles and using a square, we're going to line them up like this. This very first side is going to be your template for the rest of the sides. Line them up so that you have like a crisscross at each, like an intersection, and glue them there.
As I mentioned before, that first side is going to be your template. I put it off to the left of the square so that my subsequent sides would be the exact same height. When everything's completely dry, you're ready for assembly. After wood filler, that is. Attach the first side to the base as seen on screen. Attach the second side, the same as the first, and allow to dry. This is just another view of what that looks like. To glue the rest of that corner together, we're going to use pieces of toothpick. Make sure that the pieces are small enough that they won't show from the right side. I cut mine with those little dog clippers. You can use scissors as well. You want those corners to match up and then you use the toothpick to hold those corners together. Start with the very top corner and work your way down. Careful, if you touch the sides, you blew it, Charlie. To remove any excess glue, you can use a toothpick that has a little piece of cotton wrapped around it, dampened with a little bit of water. This is how it should look. This is how it looks from the outside. The third side goes on the same way. This is the side view. I used a clamp to hold this side on. Continue gluing toothpicks as before. Use a spear tumbling tower block to support that last side as it dries. Glue the last side on like this, taking advantage of gravity. Now this is going to require toothpicks on two sides. Do your best. See how far you can reach in. You should be able to fairly easily reach the very top corner and the next one down. And that should hold it real well. Tweezers really helped. I bought them on Timu. If you're having trouble reaching in with a glue bottle, Try using a small paintbrush with a little bit of glue on the end of it. Turn the lantern upside down onto the lid and then take a pencil and mark exactly where the bottom of that lid hits all the way around the lantern. Mm -hmm. 
Cut eight pieces of toothpick the width of your blacks. Glue each of these pieces where those pencil markings are. This is going to be a stop for the lid so that you can put the lid on without it falling down into the lantern. Land of the Giant Hand, playing in a theater near you. Now if you want to put a handle on the lid, take an additional four blocks and make a rectangle, just like you did with all the other ones. And then we're going to glue that right directly to the center of the lid. Did you think I'd forget? And here it is. You can use it as a vase during the day. And a lantern by night. Project number three is wall decor. You'll need 403 blocks, all the same size, so you're probably going to want to buy about 10 to 12 boxes. Glue together nine of these 12 block patterns. Glue them all at once. Don't make nine and glue them together because they won't match up well. I use giant craft sticks to support the structure on the back. I purchased these at Walmart. Place something heavy over these to ensure that the craft sticks really adhere to the back of the project. This time I used a different method to fill in all the crevices. I thoroughly sanded the project with my electric sander and then pushed all the sawdust into all of the cracks. Then I used a damp cloth to remove all the remaining sawdust, being careful not to pull it up out of the crevices. Then I sealed all the sawdust in with matte Mod Podge. Off camera, I painted 162 blocks with white chalk paint. I used Waverly in the color Plaster. This is the pattern you'll be gluing down the blocks. It will go horizontal rectangle, vertical rectangle. They are sharing sides. I filmed this at a really fast speed, but on the next project, when we do this in a different color, I'll slow it down a little bit more for you. Darkness, my old friend. 
left side not filled, right side filled. Here's how mine turned out. I think it looks kind of Scandinavian. I think the wood in the background is beautiful. the projects in a vignette. Project number four is the same piece done with a black background and natural blacks. I painted the background with Waverly's chalk paint in the color ink. One quick note, this is just a little bit slower so you can see exactly how I place that first row. I recommend you seal this with either wax or Mod Podge. It'll make it a whole lot easier to clean. And here it is in the black version. in a vignette. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, would you please give me a thumbs up? And don't forget to comment. I'd like to know which version of the wall decor you like the best. Did you like it in the black or did you like it in the white and natural? Also, which one of these projects was your absolute favorite today? Until the next one, bye!